When I say that they're going to take down the Bible, they're going to take down your understanding of the Bible. They're going to take down the interpretation of the Bible that we've all been given. It says here that that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. That day is the return of Jesus Christ. And that there's going to be this great falling away. Well, the falling away is the falling away from the faith. And to fall away from the faith, you got to first have it. What this strong delusion is that is coming, it's aimed at those that have faith. You got to have faith to fall away from it. So there's going to be something coming really strong that's going to cause all those that already believe and have faith to fall away from it. What could that possibly be? Well, where do people get their faith from? Because I know where many of them get it from, and we're looking at it, it's the Bible. Many people find their faith in the Bible. Now, that's not bad. What's bad is, is that if that's the only place you got it. Because there's coming a day when somebody else is going to be holding up this Bible in their hand. And they're going to know the verses better than you. And they're going to tell you that they're the very same judges of the Bible that God has sent unto the world to judge it. And they're going to use the scriptures to prove it. And they're going to tell you that they are the creators of the world. And then they're going to provide you with the scriptural support to prove it. In short, I'm going to show you a quick line of path who they are. Just keep in mind that to fall away from faith, you must first have it. Verse 11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. What's a strong delusion? A strong delusion is going to be sent to those that already have faith and that they're going to believe a lie, a false doctrine. We're talking about the false doctrine of the locust. If we go back here to chapter 14, I want you to see that we're talking about Samson. He's being the 13th judge of Israel. Well, I'm talking about this end of this Mayan world age as being the 13th Baktun. I want you to see here that Samson is a Danite in the last days in Jacob's dying blessing at chapter 49, verse 16 Jacob is prophesizing Dan, in other words, what Samson is, a Danite in the last days to judge his people. To judge his people. Dan shall be a serpent by the way, an adder in the path. In the path to what? In the path to Jesus Christ. Dan is going to be a serpent judge in the last days, blocking the path to Jesus Christ. Now, why do I say that? Well, I said that he was a Danite. Samson is a Danite. And then Samson is the 13th judge of Israel. Lo and behold, at the 13th Bach tomb, supposedly, Samson or the Danites in Jacob's own word is supposed to come and judge his people, describing himself as being a serpent, an adder, by the way, blocking the path to Jesus Christ. Now, why do I say that? Well, let's look at what this Samson, this Danite did. And what we find out is that he is famous for killing a lion. And it says, And the Spirit of the Lord came mighty upon him, and he rent him as he would have rent a kid, and he had nothing in his hand. Well, it's talking about him renting this young lion, and the lion right above it. And behold, a young lion roared against him, and the Spirit of the Lord came mighty upon him, and he rent him as he would rent a kid. After Samson is famous for killing this lion, this symbolic lion, this is code, my friends, and after a time, he returned to take her. And he turned aside to see the carcass of the lion, the destruction of Christianity. And behold, there was a swarm of bees and honey in the carcass of the lion. That's the golden age. The swarm of bees is the new world order, the hive mind. Samson gives this riddle and he says, And he said unto them, Out of the eater came forth meat, and out of the strong came forth sweetness. There's your strong delusion, my friends. There's your strong delusion. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion.